Hello, I'm Jamila Masaiva, an international etiquette expert, author of etiquette books, as well as online courses. If you're interested in getting my book, you can do so directly on my website. I'll link it here as well in the description box below. They're available for a worldwide international shipment. If you're interested in learning more in depth about etiquette, you can join my pre-recorded online courses. One is entitled Western Formal Dining Etiquette and the other is The Art of Entertaining at Home. What means pre-recorded is that you can watch them at your own pace, at the leisure of your own home, and learn more in depth about the art of entertaining as well as good table manners. If you want to learn more about etiquette, you can also join my etiquette movie club where I do monthly analysis of different kind of movies from an etiquette standpoint of view. And so far I've done over 30 different movie analysis on very famous movies and we are discussing what are some etiquette lessons that we can learn from it. Make sure to join it if you're interested to learn more. Before we get started with today's video, there are two things I would like to ask you. First is make sure to subscribe as well as hit the bell button because I see that the number of subscribers is growing on my channel, yet the ones that are subscribed to me don't always get to find my videos. So make sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also make sure to watch this video until the very end because at the end of the video, I'll be sharing the details of today's outfit and that's something I have created as a new term. So OOTV will be shared at the end of this video. So as you can tell from what I have on the table here right now with me, today's video about what is in my travel handbag. And this is because a lot of you have been asking me since I recently traveled to London, a lot of people were asking me, what do you usually take with you in your travel handbag? And this is the video dedicated to what is inside my travel handbag. Before I get started with the content of today's bag, I want to thank Songmon for being the sponsor of today's video as well as kindly and gracefully providing me with two of my favorite handbags from their collection. I am a huge fan of their brand. I've been watching all their products carefully and I really love the, the quality of it, the craftsmanship, the design of it, the selection of colors that they have and even the forms of the bag that they offer. So two of my favorites um, are this Songmon Song collection. I have two that come in two different colors. The one that I have in front of me right now is in the color Tope and it is in a size large, but I also ordered one that is in a, a size medium and it's in my favorite like brick color. I love these bags for the quality of the leather. It's exquisite. I love anything that is caviar leather like um, and I love the fact that it can be worn both you can hold it all by the hands you can actually wear it over your shoulder or um, you can wear it over across your body and the beautiful part about this bag is the fact that it has the most beautiful basket shape which is my favorite shape in bags and the fact that it has um, a magnetic clip so you can actually close the inside of the bag and it comes with a detachable pouch so everything you can think of that could be great in a bag this bag has it all um, and i love the color uh, you can probably uh, see me wearing this color in a lot of my accessories. I cannot wear it as a part. The color doesn't suit me and in clothes, but it suits me really well in accessories. And I find its color to be very luxurious and very timeless. You can find my exquisite affiliate code as well as the link to the description of these both bags that I own down in the description box below. So if you want to check it out after you watch this video, make sure that you do. I assure you, you will love it just as much as I do. So first things first, I want to show you it like this as well. I love the fact that it looks like a, a dumpling, a very cute dumpling. And I love anything that comes in the shape of a, of a dumpling or comes in a uh, basket form uh, when it comes to bags. And the most important thing that I love is that I can close the inside. So kind of tuck everything in and make it smaller looking. And if I want, I'll just open this magnetic zip and then it can have much wider shape. And you will be surprised by how much stuff I'm carrying in my bag, but that's because I can never pack light. I always feel like I'll need a lot more than I probably end up using. Um, and I'm a huge bag of large bags and a lot of the large bags usually don't, especially the shopping bags, don't have a zipper. So this is a perfect combination of both worlds, so to speak. So first things first is obviously a phone. Um, I have my phone, I have this blue cover that my daughter got me. And oftentimes people ask me, what do I have on the um, saving screen of my phone? And that is a quote that says, be bold enough to dream and brave enough to try. 
I don't like to have uh, my personal pictures or pictures of my family up on the wallpaper because uh, I'm usually traveling or working with clients um, so I don't really like to have uh, personal stuff on on my phone and I only have one phone I don't have two phones <laughs> maybe I should get one um, next thing is I have my sunglasses these are Saint Laurent um, they, I always keep my sunglasses in a little um, in their own bags uh, which I find it easier uh, to store both when I'm storing them in a the closet but also just in a bag. This is the shape of all my glasses. I'll put it on for the sake of this video as well. I am just in love uh, with any cat eye shaped glasses and I think this is the form that suits me the best and covers most of my face which is important for me because I get uh, a lot of freckles from the sun so I'm trying to protect my skin from freckles and pigmentation so the larger the sunglass the better next thing is uh, probably last time when I was doing this a lot of people asked me where's your wallet wallet and I think these days people don't even need one because we have our uh, Apple phones and we have you know Apple wallets uh, so it's much easier you don't really have to carry your cards around but this is the wallet I usually travel with because inside of it I have my passport um, so and and I'll have cash if I need to uh, over here and then here I have all the cards that I need to have sometimes I even you know can include here some of my business cards or maybe the cards of the people that I end up meeting there's a little extra space here too so you can put anything that you want to so your business card holder anything really and what I love about this wallet is that it's so versatile so when I travel I use it as a passport slash credit card store and uh, a store and then when I'm out and about if I'm you know going out or anything I can use it as a makeup bag so what I do is I take out the passport and then I'll put here some of the essential makeup items and then have my cards here or cash here so it's very versatile and can be used in a lot of different ways so that's what I love about it next I have my makeup bag uh, which is also both that was Louis Vuitton and this is also Louis Vuitton um, so I'll show you very quickly what I have in my makeup bag and that is eye drops by Lumify I always have them with me in case if I'm going for a shoot or a photo shoot or a video shoot or if I'm really tired and have to meet someone for work then I have my uh, lip perfector or lip gloss from Clarence. It comes in a really nice soft uh, color. I actually bought this last time I traveled uh, and because I didn't have my regular lip balm with me, I bought it and I actually really liked it. It was in a travel size, so two came one in one box. Next, I have my not so great looking N7 lip uh, liner. This is the liner that I use the most because it comes as it looks like the most natural color of my lip but unfortunately I'll have to tell you that N7 has cancelled this particular collection that I bought many many years ago and probably like I bought all like 10 of them or 22 of them that were in store so I've been using it for a really long time but they have been out of stock for a really long time the new ones that they did I don't really like the texture so I haven't really found the one yet next I have this little eyebrow slash eyelash uh, brush uh, because oftentimes I you know I do gel over my eyebrows and then they kind of like look mushy or bushy throughout the day so I have to really make them look neater and have to brush them up I don't know if mushy is a word actually so I'm sorry if I used it incorrectly and next I have this uh, eyeliner in color brown by Guerlain uh, I used to wear black eyeliner and I realized it's horrible because it's just I look like a panda I have a very fair skin dark hair and I would just draw my eyeliner all over my eyes and because I have rather thick eyebrows it just made my eyes look more hooded than they usually are so I've opted for now a brown eyeliner that has completely changed the way my eyes look and there's this soft part in it in the back of it that allows to smudge it and give it a more natural look I have two kind of refresheners for the, for the mouth I have a chewing gum and I have this mint slips uh, so in case if I'm going to for a social gathering or if I'm going for a conference or networking event I don't put on I don't take chewing gum because then you might you know meet someone or have to talk with someone and it's not nice to have chewing gum on and you might have forgotten to you know spit it out so I use this strips instead and I just put it on my on my tongue it melts immediately and really refreshes your breath so I would really recommend to get something like this if you're scared of having a bad you know um, mouth odor and you really want to refresh your mouth so this is good and it avoids the mistake of chewing the gum while you're meeting people or you're at a conference 
and worst things I've seen is people being filmed and they're chewing something. So uh, next things that I have here are my hair ties. So this one is a plastic one, it's elastic one. It's good especially at the night time, just put my hair around or braid it and then have it on. And then I have this softer one as well. Uh, I actually carry them not just for myself, but also for my daughter, who is the one who usually forgets to take it with her. So I have it extra for her as well. And then I have all my crystal things. I know as everyone I'm into crystals, but I've been to crystals way before I think it was popular um, or so mainstream, so to speak. Um, so I have the rose quartz, the amethyst, and I also have a little sheep that is or a goat. That's my year of birth. Uh, so I find this as an animal that protects me from everything evil and it's my good luck charm. So this is everything I have in my makeup bag. Next, um, before I get into my huge pharmacy pouch, I will show you what I have uh, that is lighter or easier to show, and that is my notebook. Uh, so you see how it matches really well the color of the bag. A lot of people, when I share pictures of this notebook, ask me where it's from, and it's from Hermes. Um, the beautiful part about this notebook is we really have to invest once into this leather part of the notebook, and then you'll just have to, you can use it for many, many years, and then you only have to add this little uh, reusable, I guess, uh, detachable uh, paper part of it. Um, and I just love how malleable it is, like it's so easy to just um, put it into two and maybe if you don't fit into a, a bigger bag you can put it into a smaller one like this and it just feels so good uh, when you touch it. And I always have a pen attached to here to the side of it so I don't have to go around asking for pen from people because I have mine always with me. So these come together like that. Uh, I'm a person who loves writing things out on paper. I do have some common tasks I have to do over my on my phone, but these are usually the things I have to do daily. But my bigger ideas or bigger projects or inspirations, I love to write them down. I don't feel comfortable typing them in. Next, I always have a book with me. Even if I know I will not have any time to read, I always have it because in case I do, I can just read a page or two and that will make a huge difference. And this is the book that I recently got again. It's called The Fifth Agreement. I read the four, the four agreements and this is the fifth one. Um, so it's good so far. Uh, I'll read it, finish it and let you know how what I think about it in my Patreon book club where I share my monthly book summaries. I always have a portable charger with me. I don't know if it's only my phone or everyone's witnessing that or because I'm taking way too many pictures and videos with my phone is that it runs out of a battery very easily. So I always carry a portable charger with me because it's easy. All you have to do is just stick it on the back and then you can continue using like you would naturally and it's easy. It's charging and you're able to continue working if you need to. Before I show what is in my medical pharmacy pouch, uh, I'll show you. I always carry with me my jewelry box with all the jewelry that I'm wearing. If I'm traveling, my jewelry box is always in my handbag. It can be a little bit heavy to carry around, but I don't trust to put it into a luggage box uh, to, the, to the luggage that I'm you know, sending off because sometimes the pieces that I'm traveling are very special and dear to me, so I never risk uh, in case the luggage gets lost or it's delayed or something happens to it. So I love to keep my precious things with me. And this is uh, actually a Tiffany jewelry box that I bought many, many years ago and has been with me and traveling with me everywhere I go. And it's easy also because it also always keeps your jewelry intact as well as you know, free of damage or you know, if, if it's bent or anything like that. And also when you, I come to the hotel room, I open the storage box and immediately place it there. So always easy. And the final part, so I'll show you the inside of the bag, how it looks. So you see a lot of things came out of this bag. So there is a detachable pouch inside that comes from the brand itself. I love the look of this pouch on its own. I think it's so stylish. It looks so pretty, but also you know, you can take it out and have the whole bag for yourself. But I love the fact that it comes with a pouch inside. So anything that is extra, I can just fill it in here. It has extra spots and pockets over here as well. So you can use those spots for different purposes. And it's just another treasure on its own. You can actually take it to the beach on its own as well. So here on the side, I have a tissue thing. Um, and then inside I have all the rest of the things. That's a lot to go through, but let, let me show you everything. 
So here I have antibacterial wipes. I always need them because I have kids and even if I don't have kids, I'll use it on my own. Um, I use it to wipe my phone, to wipe everything around. Um, I have this uh, eye patches or I would say it's actually eye mask. Um, but it's not for anything like it's not for anti-aging or anything it is a lavender smell and it, it, it if you rub it against each other it starts warming up and then you put it over your eyes and hold it like that it's really relaxing your eyes uh, since i work a lot on my laptop and i'm always on my phone or reading a book i feel like my eyes are drained and itchy and super red uh, so this really helps relieve that pain it gives this beautiful scent as well as this like warming feeling to eyes and they feel relaxed i usually put them on when i'm on a plane especially when it's a long flight and i have to arrive somewhere and go for a conference or a meeting perfect thing to have i have this um, scalp brush by s hart I find it very pretty. It's a very nice and very soft. It has very soft bristles of different length and of different length, not shape. They're actually the same shape, but of different length. And it's amazing how it massages your scalp. I would say this is more of a scalp brush than a hairbrush, and it just makes your scalp feel amazing. Uh, next, I have my perfume, which I carry in a little Hermes pouch. It is not from Hermes, but I carry it in their Hermes pouch. I like to keep my perfume a secret, as I always have it in a pouch. Next, I have this hair crab, uh, which I use more often than a hair uh, clip or hair tie, uh, because it's just so nice. It, you can pull all your hair up and just clip it like that. I have a selection of medicine, which I don't know if it's interesting to see, but I'll show some. Uh, this is a, a general pill. It's a, like a little a vitamin immune boosting thing. It's called Octylococcinum. It's available in all the pharmacies around Europe. It's really great when you're feeling like you're about to get sick and you have one of the shot um, every day or every other day or once a week and it's really good to boost up your immune system. I have Panadol just in case I have cold drugs in case I get like flu or something. And then I have a uh, an anti-allergy medicine. I always carry, since way before COVID, I would always have a hand cleansing gel with me because I love to keep my hands clean and I don't like to touch my face with dirty hands. I'm very cautious about that. Hence, I think comes the health of the skin and so I always have one with me. My favorite, all the time favorite, and the one that I use the most, hand cream by Chanel. I love the shape of it. I love how it looks like a little egg or it has a very like, ergonomic uh, shape to it you can just hold it like that in your hand it looks really nice but most importantly it's just the most moisturizing hand cream i've ever tried and it really feels like you have a little hand glove you know it feels like you have a hand glove on top of your hands and it smells very nice as well i have then a little nail buffer i have gone uh, nail or nail polish free for quite some time now uh, and I'll be having no nail polish for some time and that's why I always have to have a little buffer with me in case you know I have cuticles around and some you know nail uh, just uh, growing out and it doesn't feel comfortable so I always have one with me nowadays. Uh, I also always have some band-aids in case I need them or in case my kids need them. I always also have this ginger chews um, these are the classical ones, but I love the ones with the orange as well. Uh, I think it's ginger is just really good for you and it just tastes, it's a good combination of sweet and slightly spicy and like this like really warming feeling in your mouth from this ginger bites. I really love them. I've been obsessed with them ever since I was a student in the US. Then I have my uh, lavender bowl uh, or um, essential oil that I love to smell, I love to apply as well as what I do is I'll show you next is my eye mask that I always travel with no matter where I go I always have my eye mask on eye mask with me so I put this around the nose area of the mask so I apply it like that I can smell it like that and it really relaxes me and I can sleep much better especially when I'm on the plane and there's like someone is warming the food and they're just passing around food uh, yeah I don't like the smell of it so this is a great way to stay away from that smell. Next, I have my headphones, which are really old school when it comes to headphones. The reason I'm old school is because I find them super light to, to carry around. 
you don't have to charge them which is something i feel like everyone forgets to charge them or you run out of your um, batteries beat airpods the small ones the big ones the maxi ones so these are old school but they always work and you never lose them so i love to carry them in a little louis vuitton pouch i think this one's was from some kind of accessory I had. The reason I love to have them in a pouch is that I don't have to look through all the bag to find them. They're just always there. And there's this little thing that you can hold on to or attach it to so it's easy to find. And final thing, last but not least, this is my business card holder. This is from Tiffany's. I got it back in the days and I have my name uh, engraved on it. And I just think it looks really nice and kind of old school, but I love it. And I have my business cards always with me, especially when I'm traveling, because you never know who you end up meeting either on a plane or in a, in a waiting area or, you know, once you arrive somewhere. So it's always good to have it. I'll put everything back in here. Actually, it's not the full, the, the, the whole pouch is not yet filled with everything that I have. There's a lot more room. Uh, to here so if you can see there's a lot more I can fill in there here so this is all I have in my travel bag and of course I always carry my laptop with me as well as with copies of my book are always with me whenever I go because at the end of the day you never know who you end up meeting and it's always nice to give them a copy of my of my book in case if they want to read it or maybe gift it to someone that they find will be useful for them so this is all I have. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Also, do let me know what exactly do you find peculiar, maybe weird or interesting of what I have in my handbag. So my today's look can be categorized as smart casual. Uh, I have added blazer over top of jeans. Jeans are becoming more and more acceptable in a lot of uh, work environments. So this is something I would wear if I'm going for a casual meeting or maybe if I'm traveling. I think this is super comfortable to travel with as well as it always makes you look prepped together and looking well when you are out and about in the airport. So these are my favorite Zara Denim high rise jeans. Um, I think these are mom fit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I bought them a few years back. I don't remember when, but I've been wearing them ever since. They're super comfortable and I prefer to wear high rise jeans because they fit well my body type. But again, um, it doesn't always look good on a lot of body types. For example, I try to avoid mid rise or low rise jeans because they don't look good on me. So you have to find something that looks best on your body type. Next, I've paired them with a Sarah tank top. It's a very simple one. It's a sleeveless one. You've probably seen them, me wear it with shorts in the summer or skirts in the summer as well as I often wear it under my sweater. So it's just easy and it also keeps me warm. And then I have put over a blazer from Massimo Dutti. It's one of my favorite brands as well. It, they have really affordable, very good stuff, very good clothing of good materials for every day as well as work um, outfits. And then I have paired the whole look with Chanel sling bags and they are in two tones. So the black one and kind of a charcoal uh, gray one. And it's a really nice pair of sling bags because they look good with casual wear as well as if I want to go out for a cocktail party, I can wear them because they're slightly more dressy than your regular flats and I am wearing my favorite, now my favorite bag, Saint Mon Song Collection bag in a size large in a color taupe and I think it just looks good with any color that you're wearing. It can practically go from anything. If you're wearing green, if you're wearing black, if you're wearing navy, especially with work, it works with every color uh, that you might have in your work wardrobe. So this is my total look for today. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I do hope that you liked today's video as well as what I'm wearing for today's video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.